welcome back to- oh, I gotta turn that off. Welcome back to the fifth stream of Tales of Calistria Season 3. And yeah, so, I am back at spawn. Uh, Sam and Cancer killed me. <laughs> Cancer killed me, that's, 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 that's kind of funny. Anyways, uh, I have a couple of things to do. So, when I went into national service, I, uh... I, I, Sam had not finished building his uh, XP farm, but he has finished building his XP farm now. Which means that I can actually go and get a bunch of things enchanted. So one of the things I actually need enchanted, or one of the things I actually need, is a sword. And I know for a fact they have the Guardian farm up and running because, you know, it's, it's one of the few things the server's been talking about. Like, it's been... It was crazy that they got an XP farm running up this quickly. So yeah, I'm just gonna take like a... Just gonna take like a few blocks of lapis and I'm going to go binge enchant all my stuff. Basically, uh, this is the last pickaxe that is the last communal like spawn pickaxe. So I'm going to very quickly make this like a god pick and then I'm gonna put down and then I'm gonna give it a name like community use pickaxe do not steal or something something very very transparent like a community fortune pick comma do not steal s-t-e-a-l there we go community fortune pick do not steal and now this this has to become a fortune pickaxe right and uh i've also i also remember that you know using using an xp farm even like a good guardian xp farm is quite a lot of sword attacks so i'm just very quickly going to make for myself an iron sword and then we're going to take all of this and we're going to head over to Sam's base. So, Sam and Kansa are actually basing, uh, I believe, in the skies above an ocean monument, but yeah. So, it's basically a straight shot out of Spawn Bay. I've decided to start giving them, like, map names. So, there's Spawn Bay. Uh, we're going to fly past Dr. Quantum's island, my guy, Dr. Quantum. my uh, One of my longest VIPs, one of my longest followers. I think Dr. Quantum's actually been a consistent... You stay the fuck away from Sam's base. Why? Sam, I need to use your XP farm. Samuel. Samuel. Samuel, please. As my closest friend, I'm merely asking you for but a spoonful of, a spoonful of Guardian XP. I literally just need to get to, um... Hold on. I need to get to level 30. 1, 2, 3... Uh, actually, 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6... So I'll... I'll I'll do it like seven times, okay? And think about it, I'm not- I, I don't need any Prismarine, you get all the Prismarine, you, you get all the, uh, you get all the other, like, pallet blocks you want, but I- I will like a stack of pod because, uh, because I'm going on a long-ass trip and I need food. So basically, what I'm looking for is a tiger biome, right? You know, it's been- it's been like- it's been like nine years playing Minecraft and I still- oh, whoa! Oh my god, it's been ten years. I've been playing Minecraft for a decade, and I still don't fucking know if it's called Tega or Taiga or like Tiega, Taiga, whatever. It's it's the biome with spruce trees. Anyways, I want to find either a Taiga, uh, old growth spruce, a uh, tall spruce biome, a, a biome where spruce spawns because that is the Calistrian build palette, right? Second off, I need to find like a jutting outcropping of land that can. Oh hey, free boat! I will literally never say no to a free boat. It's uh. It's too much fun. It's 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 the goat. It's my it's also my favorite form of like litter removal. Anyways, uh, we have um, we uh need to find a place that, that I can basically turn into an island. So whether that is a natural forming island, like you know, like a natural in-game generating island, or whether I need to take what is basically you know like a, a diamond pickaxe scalpel and cut a, a swath through the land. That'll become an island, and it will basically become... I'll basically, like, try and lower the regional water level, which is why it's better if it's connected to mostly land and not, like, a huge body of ocean. And then if I do that, I can... I can basically, like, lower the river, or I can build dams at, at water level, and then I can lower the river and stick roots in it to make it look like our, our big-ass tree is drinking so much water that... Ooh, is that a coral reef? Oh, by the way, Sam, if you're still watching, you have the do you have the silky pickaxe? Because when I'm building the TNT bombers, I, I'm going to need a shitload of coral fans. I'm going to need like, okay, let's say, 
let's say I decide to take out one quarter of spawn in a day. Right, that is, oh shit, I also need a bunch of sponges, which is why you guys are going to be the real powerhouses on the server. Anyways, uh, if I want to build a single bombing array, that requires two, uh, if I want to build a single cell of a bombing array, that is two pieces of coral fan on each side, multiplied by however many units I have. If I want to like thoroughly clear out a six, a six wide area, I'm going to need four coral fans. So basically, the length of spawn which is uh, about 21 chunks, I believe. It's 21 chunks multiplied by 4 sixths. So uh, 21 doesn't go evenly into 6. It's 18... Uh, actually, wait, no. Hold on. 21 times... Give me a very quick second. 21 times 16, because that's how broad a chunk is, times 4... Okay, time, wait, no, hold on. Times open bracket 4 divided by 6. Sorry, my... my Phone calculator doesn't do fractions. Anyways, at the very, like, very, very minimum, I need... Ooh, hey, what's this? This is just like a standing... Is this just like a pillow where you stand? Oh, shit, is this, is this like where you're supposed to... What's that? Fuck that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was, I was gonna say, like, we need, um... We need, uh... What? Well, I'm a little con... Is that a villager house? Do you build a villager house underground? Why did you build a villager house underground? Oh shit! This is actually kind of a lit-looking house. Hey yo, hey yo, those endless stasis chambers. Hey yo, what's Farway Fishman, Canner Tote, Caner Tote, and Sawmel? I don't know who the fuck those are. But what's this? Uh. One tick, one token of betray, one token of betray by Doctor Quantum Original. Hold on, I Doctor Quantum Phantom O Farway one free Tim betrayal motherfucker. You motherfuckers, you actual motherfuckers. You got you got Doctor Quantum in on this. Hold on. Oh Doctor Quant oh oh uh, one free Tim betrayal as payment for the use of the gu Great Guardian Farm single use. Failure to meet these conditions will result in exile from the greatest nation of Farway, as well as execution. Signed, Dr. Quantum. You know what? Honestly, I don't blame you. The Guardian farm is probably fucking lit. This is supposed to be the fastest farm you can build in survival. And, uh, yeah. Like, honestly? Honestly? Like, Pax Calistrius is going to be analogous to the Roman Empire, right? And what's the Roman Empire famous for? What is Brutus famous for? What is the, uh... What is the Praetorian Guard famous for? Famous for, aside from not being able to do to do their fucking jobs, it's um, the Rome Rome is famed for betrayal. It's it's like Rome and Italy and maybe a little, little bit of Chinese history. But yeah, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I mean this this the this bit saddens me, but it's uh, I mean it's it's I mean this this betrayal saddens me, but I guess it's it's not something completely out of left field. Anyways, so now I, now I need to instead of worrying about being able to fight like can I fight Doc can I fight like uh can I fight Sam and cancel in a two v one? Now I need to worry about a three v one. Now three v ones three v ones are a little difficult, but I mean if this if this becomes like a single like a single engagement, I can probably take them down with N crystal PvPing. Yeah, I know. N crystal started this whole fucking shenanigan. This started. N crystals resulted in me nailing Skep to a cross and then setting the cross on fire, which is not something I should. Which is not something I should put on a resume. Oh wow. Oh wow. There are a lot of these fucking things. Okay, yeah, they they were right. I really do kind of need a macro or something into my offhand. But still, this farm is actually goaded. This farm is actually amazing. Yeah, so I guess I guess they keep dropping like the pris prismatic loots. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I, um, you know, I was not expecting that many to spawn that quickly. <coughs> uh, well, 
when I hit them, I don't, I don't hear like an individual like thump. I just hear, <coughs> I just hear the fucking sound of like, I feel, hear the sound of my headphones starting to give out. Oh, and this, this is, I call like the, the spawns come in waves, but yeah, let me just uh, yeah, let me very quickly. Uh, let's enchant this, see if we can get in. Uh, that was a good enchant, but it was not the good enchant we needed. Let's actually see what the next enchant holds. We're, no, 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 we, we're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go more. Or am I gonna have to do more? No, no, I'm actually just gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna be able to chuck this in. Nope, that's even worse. That is trash. Oh dear god. Oh dear god, I need to, I need to be way more on top of killing these things. Okay, that's uh, quite a few levels I've got. Now, let's see. Uh, that's a terrible enchant. You were so close. You were so close to being a good pickaxe. So close. Uh, knockback, not super useful at the moment. Uh, still efficiency 4. That's... Man, what is with my enchanting luck today? Also, the axe needs to go. I have an axe to grindstone. And it's uh, oh you know what while I'm here I'm oh wait hold on let me take my let me actually take my gear off. Okay, I'm realizing that doing that actually puts me at tremendous risk of dying to thorns. So let me just see what. Ayo, does it offer sharpness four on this bad boy? That is actually a good sword enchant. I should be able to kill way more if I just sweeping edge a bunch of them. Yep, there we go. Okay, next enchant that's needed, uh, efficiency f 4, please be fucking, there's no fortune, no fortune, I get no fortune whatsoever. Oh, I should also put on my armor because that seems to counteract the power of the fucking annihilation thorns. And there's a bunch of stuff dropped down there, I'm not really sure if I should like help pick that up or if it's like a... Intentional... Ah, uh, bruh. The enchants are terrible today. What the hell? Wait, I got I got so used to doing that by reflex, I should have... Uh, really, really... That is the best pickaxe. I like how there's just like the subwoofer thump. It's not even like it's not even like a kill confirmation. It's like thump. Eh, do I want flame on a bow? Yeah, why not? Oh, that is actually a very good enchant. Uh, there's another powerful enchant being offered. I would like powerful with infinity, but uh, you know, I, at this stage, I'm willing to take whatever the fuck I will get. Okay, so uh, how am I how am I gonna tell Doctor Quantum I know? How am I going to tell Doctor Quantum that? Ooh, what that would have been actually a really good enchant on this pickaxe. That is that is a fucking terrible enchant. I feel like I could do this a lot quicker if I had like a splash harming pot. But then again, we 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 aren't even at the potion stage of the game yet. Uh, not even gonna bother getting those like trash ass enchants. I literally just need. I, oh wait, actually wait. No, hold on. I can I can send this in again. Do I get f still offering me fortune too? Uh, I'm basically burning through a bunch of uh, lapis, but I'm not that worried because in the future we will have lapis up the wazoo. Up the Oiseau. It's a... Hmm, do I want... We already have Unbreaking 3 on a bow. Let's see what it does to a pickaxe. That is fucked. I have not had a single good... Something is killing my luck today. It's a good thing I'm not a gacha gamer anymore because... Because this... This... Having this kind of run of bad luck is the kind of thing that only... Hey, there we go. 
community fortune pick is the kind of thing that only more gambling is going to solve. You know what, let me actually pick up a couple more levels and then I will leave. So now I know that Dr. Quantum is potentially a traitor. I, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna be careful around Dr. Quantum. I, uh, I could, I could get, I could get, like, I could get bazooka at any moment, and by bazooka I mean he's a, he could have a, a crossbow with a really, like, god-tier, god-tier explosives. And the best way to kill someone who is, like, way above your, I guess, combat skill, is, a uh, is an explosive. Which is how I, which is how I know that I can't, I can't take three of them at once, but I could blow them all up. Uh, let me see, I could, I could, hmm... To try and figure something out. Anyways, uh, you know, I don't, I don't probably don't want to chant that iron sword. Let me see if I can get a better power enchant on this bow. Nope. It wouldn't. Mm, actually, you know what? I will actually take it. I would like infinity, but um, yeah. What what am I gonna call this? Uh, hmm. There we go. Easy. I like I like a uh, I like Fire Emblem. Everyone knows I like Fire Emblem. In fact, I think I like Fire Emblem a little too much. There we go. And now I think I can just uh what what do I do I like feed this stuff into the hopper and then Okay, so that's to collect the player loot from when the player is like completely done or when their inventory is completely full. This is the bulk storage. Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal some uh, prismarine. Uh, this is this is uh, this is payment for the betrayal. And anyways, I need to head back to spawn. Oh, I need to head back to Skep's Tiger Biome actually. And from Skep's Tiger Biome, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically cut. Well, okay, so I've traveled uh, east, right? I think the only logical solution is to travel west, and once I'm heading westwards, I'll... I don't know how far I'm going to travel. I know it's going to... Oh, whoops. I know it's going to be quite a distance. It's probably going to be quite a distance, because I need an archipelago that I can effectively run a bomber through. Because let, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest with ourselves. I know how I play Minecraft. Long-time viewers know how I play Minecraft. I don't have the patience to take a fucking shovel and excavate the Panama Canal, okay? I don't I don't have the fucking patience to build the Suez Canal. I don't have the patience to fucking dig shit for like 12 weeks. But what I do have the patience to, to do is to set up a bombing array and turn a section of the world into a blasted heath. So, you, you know, write that down. Y'all know what I'm about. You 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 know what you you people know exactly what the fuck I'm about. But yeah, this, uh, we now have a community fortune pickaxe. Do not steal. I'm just gonna just gonna snag some lovely, lovely coal, and I'm also gonna go see if Skep has a uh, any mending villagers, because if he has mending villagers, I can put I can stack mending on this bad boy, and that mending is gonna go crazy when when we're when you know. Oh wow, I keep I keep forgetting there's this huge ass uh this huge ass dip. And like basically a oceanic river. That's kind of a, I I mean an estuary, oceanic river, an oceanic river. He said, "Chat, I swear I'm not retarded." Chat, I'm not as retarded as I look. I promise. Chat, chat. I know I look dumb, but I'm not retarded. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. You know. You're not. Honestly, though, I was fucking terrible at bio at a geography. Uh, geography in secondary school. Uh, if my if through some weird coincidence my old geography teacher Mr. Fauzan is watching this, I am really sorry. Uh, Natalie Hodgkinson, I am also very sorry to you. That was a that I I was fucking terrible at geology geography. I can see I'm even calling it the wrong thing. Uh, I'm I'm terrible at uh, the geography of food. I'm terrible at the geography of weather. I'm terrible at the geography of Fucking volcanoes. I can barely remember that. Oh my god, it's another King George. Oh my god, it's King George. Fuck me. Fuck me, he's back in this world. Hold on. 
Wind Shift S. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Back to game. Uh, Wind Shift S. There we go. Take a screenshot. Back to game. F1. I need to open this. I need to open my Discord. And I need to go to Elfie and send him send him an urgent message that's like, Hey, bad news. Okay. Control V. Hey, comma, Elfie, comma. Bad news. It's, uh, he, he, Elfie's, Elfie's gonna get the joke. Elfie is gonna get the reference. Uh, long-time viewers might, but yeah, let, let's not touch that thing unless we want turbo cancer. Unless we want, like, like, world, like, like a, like, well, actually, okay. okay. Initially, the law was that he, he would kill you by touching you. And it was like a, it was like a, he would add poison to your veins and shit like that. But now I'm a little, oh, god damn it, I didn't enchant, I didn't enchant the other fishing rod. That was a, whoops, oopsie. Anyways, uh, let's go, let's actually go hunt down Skepdephalinius, Skepdephalinius, Skepdephalus, Skepdephalus. Oh, right, speaking of, uh, I should probably go update the, uh, the Hwajima call it. There's a, oh, right, I built something at spawn. And what I built at spawn was effectively a board that goes like, hey, update, go here, update your, update you, update your username, update your, where you live, and update your faction. So, yeah. Mm. That's basically the, uh, oh, there's the corner of spawn. And now I could go to Skep's base the normal way. I could go sleep at spawn and then drive a boat off the edge of this, uh, off the edge of the chunk perimeter marker and just, you know, like, dive into his house. I feel like one of those things would be a lot funnier than the other. Or, like, dive into his lake. Who is do? Who is mining? Okay, fuck it, fuck it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not annoyed. I'm not annoyed. I do not see it. You can look without seeing, says Jamie Lannister. God damn it, Jamie. Jamie Lannister really had one of the saddest fucking stories in Game of Thrones. Oh, wait, oh, is that a trident drowned? Hey yo, hey yo, trident drowned. Really? Don't mind if I do. Now give me your trident, please. That, that's copper. That's not a trident. That's a oh. Well. I just I just ate raw cod instead of baked potatoes. That's a yeah. Did he he did not drop that? Did he he dropped copper, a single copper ingot, and he dropped rotten flesh. Speaking of copper, I feel like we are in the desperate need for a drowned farm. But don't worry, we can build it in this. We can actually build it like pretty much in this river as soon as we, you know, annihilate the whole place. Uh, you 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 people already know what I'm about. Don't act surprised. Okay, so let me um. Where where did the bed? Where did we leave the bed? And is my inventory full? No, it's just almost full. Okay, so sleep in the bed. Get out of the bed. Use one of the furnaces, one of the furnaces. Uh, fuck it, let's use this one. That's uh, not enough coal, but that should be enough. Uh, plant the sweet berry back. Uh, let's let's basically just jump, dump, dump a bunch of shit in here. Uh, I can do the sorting later, and I'll keep this oak boat. I'll put this in the important stuff chest. There we go, and um. Yeah, let's actually let's actually go on a trade adventure with to, to Skep's house. So where are the things that I would use to make a bunch of books? Because I want to put mending on this. I should put mending on this as well, and I should put mending on my sword. So that's that's at least three mendings, right? That's a uh, oh, ayo. Someone dug a. Now, okay, now I'm kind of interested in this. There's a long-ass hole being dug into the wall. I'm guessing this might lead to someone's base area. Uh, if not, someone just dug a hole in a wall and felt like it. Oh, wait, no, is this the actual mine? Are we building an actual mine here? Oh, by the way. Free coal. Oh, coal that is... 
call that no one is taken. So yoink. Also, I need to get better tools. I uh, I think there may be better like toolsmith villagers at Skep's place, but I'm not sure. Ooh, hey, Papa. Is this gonna be a big vein? Nope. Just a regular copper vein. What is? Oh, and it digs into the side of this weird hill, and it seemingly does not continue. I guess it's someone's. Attempt at starting a mine, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe someone was in the cave and they were like, fuck it, let's just let's just dig out let's just dig out the wall. Either way, you know, nice nice place. Either way, I'm just going to get everything that can be fortuned out of this cave very quickly. And, oh, hey, iron. Always need more of that. I guess having raw iron is always kind of nice, you know? And then, uh, pfft. actually, let me, let me just explore up. Why not? Oh, wow, a lot more coal. Uh... You know what? Fuck it. Let's 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 go on a coal mining adventure. It's it's always something that's needed by the server, and I even though I can leave it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna basically take a fair amount of resources from the from the communal chest that spawn because I put in a lot of work doing like doing a bunch of mining and stuff. But it is also not fair to completely like rob spawn. So. Let's say there's let's say there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm going to take like I'm going to take what is a share equivalent to my work, and then eventually when we move out, it'll become or when we move out of spawn, it it'll guess I guess it'll become everyone's or we'll split it in a way that is uh, equitable. Equitable. The word I was looking for was equitable. We'll we'll do an equitable split split of resources among like everyone who's there, and then yeah. And I've also hit level 30, apparently. Nice. That is one more enchant, but it will probably be terrible. I think the best place to do enchanting is at the Guardian Farm. But yeah, as um, hope hope uh, you know, hope Skep's hope Skep has a mending villager. If he doesn't, I will probably just make one. You know, and then we can do the whole convert. Convert, heal, convert, heal, convert, heal thing until he's, you know, offering us the mending book for like an emerald. That'll be, I'll be sort of goaded with the sauce. I'll be sort of sauced with the goat. Bo that'll be sort of a boots with the fur, with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. She hit the floor. Next thing you know, next thing you know, Shari got low, 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 low. I still remember that song as Apple Bottom Jeans. Like, I, when I think that song in my head, I just think, like, she had them Apple Bottom Jeans, jeans, jeans with them jeans. Like, like adult Apple Bottom Jeans, boots with the Apple Bottom Jeans. It's, it's, it's a relic from the days of, like, audio edit memes, which I feel like, I feel like is very long ago. It was only marginally more recent than YouTube poops. And if you guys remember YouTube poops, oh god, those were... Oh, that was like peak comedy. Absolute peak comedy. Oh wow, I'm finding a shitload of stuff that needs to be uh, fortuned. For me, I guess. I guess good for the server, since I'm not taking all this stuff. I'm splitting it equitably. Look, the yields of the spawn chunks are the yields of everyone. Spawn, chunk, spawn chunks are, are communist country. We, um... Yeah, we are we are decidedly communist. So yeah, there's um there's that. Let's I guess let's head back now that this whole place has been cleaned the fuck out. And I need to get to work. I guess I'll head west, like due west of spawn. And here's to hoping and praying I find a tiger or like a spruce or like a something biome. Just as oh hey, is there more stuff in here? Like I I it, here in hoping of in hopes I find a something biome, you know a biome. 
that I can make into a home. Now I'm not super attached to the idea that it like it absolutely must be this specific like thing, this this specific biome. It cannot be anything else. There's no one idea I'm married to, but at the same by the same token, uh, I I would very much like a spruce biome. Because you know, spruce biomes, you you guys know how this story plays out. Spruce biomes and I we we go together like a I know we go together like uh ch children and Pedophiles? I, I I sort of lost the sort of lost the train of thought there. Anyways, um, here is a here's a board called the uh, Calistrian pl uh, player and in player and base information. So we use the format of name, username, base location, and faction affiliation. So we have, say for example, mine is a Tim sla Timothy slash Tim. We I go by Shadow Paladin because that is my username. And we are currently homeless, but we belong to the faction of Pax Calistris, or the people of Calistria. That one, that one, that one is kind of, kind of self-explanatory, you know. We're the people of Calistria. Uh, we are, we are Pax Calistris, you know. That that makes should make should make sense. Anyways, just before I do that, let me very quickly. I don't want to. I don't want to risk losing any of these. Any of well, I, I know I'll probably lose the levels eventually, but. I would like to make, let's see, I can make six books, and let me just put a level 30 enchant on the first book I, on, on just one book. And then with this one level 30 enchant, power 4, that's a decent enchant, and we are going to actually go over to Skep's house, and once we're at Skep's house, we are going to see if he has a mending villager. Now, if Skep, Skep has a brain... You know, Skip has a brain, which means he probably has an iron villager, or an um, or the villagers that do mineral trades, right? So knowing that, we can probably assume that he's got like multiple smiths, multiple stuff like that. All all of the all of the people who trade iron are also gonna trade stuff that's kind of useful to me, which means I should probably get to work on a uh, creating a suit of iron armor, or at the very least, like buying buying a set of tools. And then traveling far enough out into the world that I can make my own. So, what we're going to do is we are going to travel to Skep's place. We're going to go to Skep base. Skep town. Skepsville. Ooh! Oh, he's built He's built a ton of stuff. He has built a... What is, what is that? Is that some kind of farm? Hey, yo, has Skep built some kind of new farm? Hold on, I want to see this... I want to see this new farm... That is a swastika. That is not a that is not a farm. That is a fucking swastika. Why why is there a giant swastika in the sky over you know what, fuck it. Why why do I even ask these questions? It's not like I'm going to This this tree look this this kind of natural building looks like John's handiwork. Did John build a sequoia park? Okay, so John came John came onto the server. And John immediately built a giant swastika in the sky. That is the most on-brand thing I've ever fucking seen. That is the most on-brand... That is the most, like, on-brand John thing ever. Uh... Oh, you didn't even hook... You didn't even... Skip, why didn't you hook it up with a... Why didn't you hook this thing up with, um... What, what's it called? Fuck, I, I, I'm forgetting what it's called. Skip, why didn't you hook this bad boy up with a auto solder? Huh? You should have done that. You should have done that. You should have done the auto solder thing. Why didn't you do that, Skep? This is your trading hall. This uh, this feels like a trading hall. The lag that I'm experiencing tells me this is a trading hall. Where are? Oh my god, they're packed in here like fucking sardines wherever they are. Uh, hello? Villagers, are there any villagers in here? Are there any villagers who like to trade me some iron? Hello, villagers. Well, I know I can hear them. Can't see them. And like the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, imagine if I just suddenly became evangelized and I was like, "Hey, okay, there you are." Hey, my man. And he also does coal trades, which is good, because I have a, I have, I have a lot of coal. I just threw a bunch of coal blocks in there with him. Okay, time out. We break this, pick that up, put these back in here, and you, you also give coal trades, yes? No? Do I need more coal? I do believe I need more coal. 
So he's got a, you know, actually, 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 17. Oh, that's kind of, kind of an expensive pickaxe. And this is a kind of expensive pickaxe. Also, I'm gonna sleep here because, uh, because why not? It's a bed. So I'm going. Oh wait, what is that glass? Oh wait, sorry, I saw the glass of the uh, villager iron farm, and I thought like, oh, what is that? Is that like a? Is that like some sort of cool? Does this farm not produce iron? I feel like this farm should produce iron, but I don't see any iron being produced. Uh, oh well, you know what? Forget it. We can, we can. I think I know what happened. So I gave, I gave Skep op, right? Diop, uh, Swemuel. <laughs> I'm just gonna Diop Sam for the lols. <laughs> Anyways, no, I gave, I gave Skep, uh, I gave Skep Operator. And what I think happened is that one of them turned it into peaceful, and then it resulted in whichever zombie was in there being killed. That is my prediction, and yeah, I think, I think that happened. Anyways, let's not, let's not worry about that now. Let's instead worry about waiting for these villagers to work and recover their trades. So this guy, this guy's trades, eh. This guy's trades, eh. Does he have an armorer? Is there an armorer within this building? Oh wow, he's planning to make it even larger. Okay. Uh, hmm. Now, the Pax Kalistris is kind of like the Pax Romanus, and we are not strictly anti-slavery, but I, but I feel like this is a little cruel. I think if I have villagers, they'll be more free range, you know, like, like chickens. Like free-range chickens. Why am I saying it like that? Why am I saying chickens? I don't know. I'm just saying chickens because I like saying it like that. You know, like chickens. I like chick. You know what? Actually, honestly, chickens. Chicken. A chicken is one of those animals I would totally keep as a pet. They're like, they're like super friendly. Once once you train them to stop pecking you repeatedly. But yeah, chickens. Chickens seem like bros. Chickens seem like they're actually kind of bros. You know. Okay. Ooh, this guy works fast. Well, you do you work fast? Yes, you do. Holy cow! You had, I was I was worried that like he'd already have refilled his trades, and I'd be like, oh, well, oh, don't have that much iron. Oh, they li never mind. They just they literally just worked. No, was it not him? I guess they just make that sound randomly. Okay, so does Skep actually have another? Vi Villager, who's uh, who's like work, who's like working the till behind the store. Or is this like? There we go. Oh wow, this is nice. Yeah, Skep Skep is actually a v tremendously talented builder. I think I can do things better on scale, like you know, massive circular monument prim perimeters, stuff like that. But Skep is Skep is actually. Wait, is there? Oh, okay. There's there's just a fox. I I saw the. I saw the barricade on the door and I was like, hmm, that's, that's, that looks like the place a villager would live. But yeah, does there, is there a villager here? Oh, I keep, I keep, I keep walking into this building thinking it's not this building, if that makes any sense. Anyways, let me also very quickly grab like three of these picks and then, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I just walk out and is there... Is there an armorer villager anywhere here? I know there's... Is this an AFK spot? I think this might be an AFK spot. Now, this looks like the kind of place I would hide an armorer. Yeah, that is that is definitely the kind of place I'd hide an armorer. Hold on. How do I get in? Is it... Okay, it's... it's ooh! Hello! Hello, you beautiful creature. You! Why did he make a villager not a mending village? Oh, okay, this is the breeder. Okay, this this is evidently the breeding facility. Okay, so take cobblestone. That's not cobblestone. Place, replace. And um, yeah, he does not seem to have an armorer. That's weird. I should have. I I assumed he would have. I assume that everybody's heard about the bird. Oh well, a bird, bird, bird. A bird is the word. Oh well, a bird. <laughs> uh. Okay, there's no none there. Now you guys might be asking, like, are you are you literally just mining coal in the side of his base? Yes, yes. It's free coal. It's free coal. Literally, no one is using it. 
It's 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 free coal. It's coal that nobody is using except potentially me. Uh, I think I think whichever villagers were here might have ended up dead, through no fault of mine, mind you. Uh, but they they do look they do seem a little dead. Should I should I get rid of the giant swastika in the sky? Part of me feels like it's a moral obligation to get rid of the giant sky swastika, but the other part of me is like, why don't you outline it in cobblestone so it looks more bold? That'd be funny. That'd be funny and edgy. You like you like being both of those things. <laughs> but I tell you what, I'll leave I'll leave the swastika standing. That's 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 uh that's uh hope 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 the a uh, hope the anti -def ADL. I hope the anti defamation league doesn't get me for that one. Uh. There you go. The Cox. The Cox. I love Cox. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to leave the giant swastika in the sky since I didn't build it. It's not my place to destroy it. I'm going to take this oak boat. I also think it would be really funny if I stole Skip's boat again. But uh... But yeah, that's... that's uh, You know, not, not, not how I do. Not how I be doing. Not how I be doing this. How I be... How I be sloping on the schmeet. Color scheme, purple, white, gray, brown. Okay, so I, I figure they're basically going to build on a corner, which is nice. I am going to head on through here. I wish I had a mini-map mod that I could use to just like look at the map and be like, hmm, yes, this is like a, like, a, like a cinematic flyover method. But I do not. And I guess, my, I guess my method should be using my feet and seeing where my feet will carry me. Now I'm want I don't want to get too far from spawn. Oh hey, this this is actually a very nice mountain. If it is a mountain surrounded by, or if it's like a hill, like a crested hill, that is surrounded by a bunch of uh, you know easy to destroy terrain. You know, Papa Papa might be interested in real estate, boys. Daddy Daddy might be interested in getting some real estate for us to live on. Uh ba 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 boing 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 and a boing and a boing and a and I'll just keep running for a little while. So Pax Callistris should ideally be okay. Honestly I can I can travel all the other directions, but I know that there's a lot of spruce here, and if it's not the perfect place for me, I can you know make it the perfect place. TNT duping's a thing uh, that we allow on the server. Uh, bombers are a thing that we can build. Uh, there's no there's no there's no land feature so strong that it cannot be edited. That is a huge cave. Uh, whoops! Almost imagine if I jumped in there by accident. <laughs> Oh, if I just looked down and was like, Geronimo, threw myself right off the edge. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a large body of water. This kind of fits thematically with what I should expect to see. It's, um, Ayo. Ayo. Okay, so let's, let's, let's get a quick view of this place. Okay, so this is a river that leads in the direction of spawn. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically design a map in my head of this place, right? There's this there's this huge like long flowing river. I think that might be the forest that borders spawn. This is a no, actually we're about we're about 200 blocks too far out. So there's basically a spruce biome that starts right here, and huh. There's no way that a place this close to spawn would be this good to build, unless this seed is absolutely fucking cracked. All I need now is for that to pretty much be an island like peninsula. And and we would be we would be literally golden. Is this an island? There's a this this is a huge this is a tremendous river. That's a single island, I think. Yeah, I think we can go around the perimeter of that, but this this interests me. This interests me substantially. Uh, this is more inland, but... Damn it, I don't have the stuff I need to make a map. 
Okay, you know what? Actually, though, I don't think a map's necessary. I think I just need to put down, put down like a temp base on one of these, and then oh hey, there's even a lush cave below us somewhere. Uh, let's let's quickly give a another bit of a tour. Okay, so that's a small island. That's a huge mountain, and you know what? Actually, actually, I could not build Galistria on an island there. But I could also... Hold on, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? I'm sorry, my, my brain my brain and uh, thoughts don't always like work together with each other. It's not a thing they, it's not a thing they always do. Um, I was going to say that I could actually like expand this more so it like takes up part of the river delta. Or I uh, I could I could make this whole thing. Okay, actually, you know what? I could I could also build it on I could build it on those mountains. Or and I'm I, I'm I'm really giving myself a ton of options. I could do something different. I'm not one thousand percent sure what I would do different to this, but I mean I would I would I would do this differently is what I know. Anyways, let me just uh like actually, actually, this this would be a decent place for like an outpost. You know, actually, let's let's call this outpost one. Do I have a sign? No. Can I craft a sign? Yeah. Let's 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 make a sign and let's let's keep it moving until we find a better place. Outpost one. There we go. And I'm going to actually, you know, what? I'm going to keep these on me in case I find a place that's you know good enough to just settle down immediately. I'm gonna keep this on me. I'm gonna keep the emeralds in my pocket. Uh, books. Call this. Actually, you know, what? let's let's make a couple torches. We don't need we don't need a tremendous amount. We just yeah, they're, they're drowned around here. They're drowned literally in the. Oh wait, outpost one can be my trident farm. I just need to find like a large stretch of the river, and then I need to, I guess. Well, okay, I need, I, actually, is that a, oh, okay. Now, that's, that's just a skeleton arrow. Oh, apparently drown can come on land. And now, and now that becomes his problem. Oh, there are creepers, there are creepers in these woods. Creeper could still probably kill me quite easily. Uh, you know what? Let's actually... Let's take down the coordinates. Uh, minus 850, 250. Actually, wait, I should probably write this down. Minus 850, 250, dash, outpost 1. There you go. And I guess let's let's keep going east. Oh, west, sorry. We've we've traveled until we've hit the eastern world border, but we have not traveled until we hit the western world border, which is, I guess, a little bit further away. Fortunately, there's, a, there's quite a bit of, like, river space here, and as long as I have, like, big flat open river deltas, I can keep running as far away as I need to. Oh my god, oh my god, if there's an island here, it would... Oh, wait, hold on. Is that an island? Please tell me this isn't, like, just more spruce biome, and this is like an actual island island. An island that is like big and broad and hold on. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. There's another azalea tree there. It's cool. Um Holy shit. Holy shit, I think it okay, you know what? It doesn't even need to be a single island. It can be an island connected by multiple archipelagos. Or it can be like an archipelago of like a multiple groups of islands that are just tied together. But this is also kind of a nice place. Let me just check that the spruce, bi spruce biome has like a hard border between here and okay, so it's not it's not a hard border. It's like a it's like a land border, and and it's mixed a little bit. But wait, hold on. I'm going to see if this is an island. And uh, next stream, I'm gonna have a mini map mod installed, since you know Sam's Sam's running Sam's running a. God, what mod does Sam have on? He's, he's running Lightmatica. 
And yeah, I uh, probably want to do something with that. And uh, yeah, we can we can basically we can basically get a get a bird's eye view of this place. Now I might just call this outpost two. I might just call this like Calistria Prime. This is a negative. Hold on, minus one three four two. Space. Uh, God damn it. Uh, wait. Hold on. I'm losing my losing my 280 dash. Oh, post two. There we go. Uh, I'll just temporarily call this outpost two. I will probably come up with a better outpost. I will probably find a better outpost eventually. It's just. Oh wait. That is dangerous. That is dangerous. You should not be doing that. People might get hurt. You might poke your eye out with that thing. And uh, let me just travel the circumference of here. And what we okay, what we want is still okay. You guys remember Calistria from the old series? It's basically that. It was basically a spruce biome, like an entire spruce biome that was surrounded on every side by like rivers that I artificially made a lot deeper. And now that I know the stuff I do about terraforming, about like base design, about stuff like that, I think I could do it a lot better. Actually, oh wait, hold on. That is a very high mountain. Could I climb to the top of that mountain and see if this is a river biome? Give me a second to break that. And then I need to get climbing. And I need to climb quite carefully because, uh, you know, being shot down or having a creeper drop on me, either of those things in hard difficulty, is probably going to result in my demise. My instant, painful, but actually rather comedic demise. You know, death death is a little funny. Death is a little funny sometimes. You know, sometimes there are, like, death funny moments. Okay. Uh, you know what, actually? I think if I just place a boat here... Must I place a boat on the top surface of a block every time? Oh, no, yeah, probably, it's probably that way. Okay. So, up, up, up. 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 Oh wait, this, sorry, this is regular dirt. What I want to do is I want to break here, break here, place, pick the coarse dirt up, place it here, leave the mountain's natural beauty intact, and of course there's an even higher level that I did not go to. Oh, wait. oh hello. There's uh, it's probably going to be a ton more zombies spawning in the area around me now. Uh, make some torches. Just light up this peak really quick. Haha, -ha, he said peak. It's like it's like his character in it's like his character in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Although I might need to make a new one for Elfie's Sunday campaign. If I'm even gonna be around for Elfie's Sunday campaign, I might need to leave early and book in early. Hop, 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 hop. <sighs> Let me see. Can I climb this without the use of like a bunch of ladders. I mean, I could. I could make. I could just like dig through the wall, and then do shit like this. Now, please tell me this island is like in the middle of a of like a bunch of massive river deltas. So I'm gonna go to the top, and I'm gonna do something I probably should not do. There's a spider after me. Or well, there's a spider inside this wall. Oh, there it is. There we go. It is no longer here. And I would think to put down a couple of torches here. So, let me actually get a good look at this place. So, one, two... Oh, hey, there's a swamp that borders my base. That's a little icky. But, uh... Hold on, if I made this connect through here, basically slice through here. Hold on. Escape, options, video settings. Let's take this bitch. Let's take this bitch up to, let you know what? Fuck it, 18. 
18 chunks. Oh my god, my computer is going to fry itself. Okay, so I see there's further mountain ranges there. At least I see the silhouettes of further mountain ranges in the middle distance. There's a huge river delta over here. There's, there's actually a huge place I could make a trident farm. If I could basically cut through here with like a TNT scalpel, I could cut through here, cut into the swamp, and that would be a that would be a decent place to make a slime farm, which I need, or which I would need to make that. And then it the river actually ends there. But here's the thing. So I'm gonna I'm tra traveling along this edge, being very careful not to jump off like a moron. But if I basically cut a diagonal swath through there, and then I leveled a bunch of this land, including oh wow. That's actually very cool looking like natural design. And then if I just basically Land in the river, please. Oh my god, oh my god, this is actually very cool. Hold the hold the fucking phone. This is incredibly cool. There's this under there's this like under archway. And then if I basically traveled through here Oh my god. Oh my god, my base has so many layers. There are so many different layers I could build upon. Okay, that is that was terrifying. Those were those were two terrifying occurrences. But at the same time, this is actually pretty amazing. Plus, I can I can just go to go to here and like, oh wait, do I? Is there a witch farm here? Is there going to be a witch farm near my base? Because if there's going to be a witch farm, I'm going to instantly become the server's uh, redstone tycoon. Wait a sec. If we're doing Roman bases, I can build giant aqueducts. The uh. Oh my god! Please tell me there's a witch there's a witch hut somewhere in this place. Because I, I literally have experience building witch farms. I feel like on old Kalistra, I was the only one who ever made one. In a Kalistra 2, not Kalistra. Actually, yeah, Kalistra 2 and 1. Okay. So there is a. Uh, there's some space below. You know what, boys? I think I found my home. I think I found my permanent home. My permanent area of residence. I just need to find a slime farm. That works in uh, swamps, and then I need to make like I guess like a golem-based slime farm would be a good thing to call it. Oh, and I got a bunch of oh my god. Okay, I have a ton of other biomes nearby. I have frogs. Hello, hello, Mr. Frog, Mr. Froge. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, do I? You know what? You know what? I think we found our permanent home, lads. I think we have unironically found our permanent home. Jesus Christ, those things can jump. I, uh... Yeah, I got startled. I got I got a little... I got my jimmies rustled by that a little. So, we, uh... We're basically gonna need to... Oh, is that a... If that's a desert biome, I'm gonna laugh, because Skep's been looking for one of those for a really long time. Or is it just a large beach? Uh... Let's, let's go there. Let's go there and press F3 to find out. So, there's, um... There's this. It's a uh... no. Yeah, this this is just a big beach biome. Okay, so yeah, my base on the mountain past this one is going to be is going to be pretty go pretty goaded with the sauce. If I must, if I do say so myself, if I'm allowed to toot my own horn, if I'm allowed to jerk myself off, if I'm allowed to squeeze my own nuts. This base is going to be one of the best that I've ever fucking built. And y'all can bet on that. Also, it's high. It's it's very, very high up. Uh, I feel like I should do something about that. I should feel like I should make, like, a column that runs up parallel to it. And then, like, you know, stairs. Has stairs that disengage. But, uh... But, yeah. Wait a sec. Is this... Oh, my God. This is the swamp I helped Sam find. Oh my god, it, it it all everything everything comes together. Cancer asked if I was gonna live in this swamp because I lived in a swamp in the last one. And uh yeah. Let me just uh You know what? You know what boys? I think this is I think this is where the base is gonna go. Now ooh, ooh there's a zombie, there's a zombie, there's a zombie over there. We don't want no zombies. Okay. So let's Basically duck them. 
And I want to see if there's a way for me to reach home from the spawn, from, well, the river that I placed my boat into. So, there's this big river that un runs underneath the, uh, well, where I'm going to live, that runs under my house. <coughs> so, I know of a fact the river, well, the river should have continued this way. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, this, this, this might be an issue. Do I have any... No, I don't. I literally have nothing. I have nothing with which to dig a tunnel. Okay, first first prerogative, build a tunnel. And maybe a boat elevator, like a boat levee or something. Not, not like a boat elevator, like you can drive a boat into it, and it will basically, you know, push. It'll basically fill up like a column of water, and then it will, like, basically bear you up to the top. And yeah... I think my base will be at like 1500, uh, give me a sec, uh, negative 1500, and then I want to say it was at like 200, either way, as soon as I'm in the region I can find it. So, here's what we need to do. We need to go back to spawn, I need to drop all my stuff at spawn, and I need to take, and I need to find all the things that I need to make a nether portal, portal my way over here, and then, um, yeah, basically, basically set to work on building like a like a big spire is what I want to do, right? So there'll be like a spire that will bear you up, and will basically be. You know what? Yeah, we can we can do like a we can do like a giant column full of soul sand, and when you oh wow oh wow is that an exposed lush cave? Hey yo. Uh, don't, don't mind if I do. Now, I got some, I got some moss from, uh, the other lush cave that I found, but this one, this one actually looks kind of pretty. It looks, this, this one kind of looks pretty cool. Now, I am, I am kind of sad that once I live in a base, uh, I'm not gonna be able to say that I'm homeless anymore, or that, like, my base location is living inside other people's walls, but this is... This is also kind of goat. This is actually kind of the goat. That that base location was actually kind of goaded. High mountains, I like those. Places I can build a castle, I like those. Places I could build a big ass tree, love those. Uh, the water, the whole water level thing is going to be a little difficult. It's going to be a little difficult to cut the water level by that much without basically raiding a ton of ocean monuments for their sponge and using said sponge to sponge up. A, a thoroughly obscene amount of water. I'm probably looking at... It would not be unfair to say I'm looking at getting rid of many, many hundred thousand... No, several hundred thousand water. But here's the thing. Has that ever stopped me? Has, has that ever stopped me? Like, oh, is, is he going to get rid of a whole river biome? Has, has that ever stopped me? Has logic ever stopped me? In my pursuit of a fun time, no, it hasn't, and it's not gonna—it's not gonna do that now. Also, this looks like an amazing place for the. Hold on, hold the flippin' phone. Give me, give me like one moment. This is all river, right? Yeah, this is all river. Okay. Uh. Here. Oh, wh whoops, whoops. Uh. This is going to be where. I believe I will put the uh, trident farm. So eventually, there's gonna be a trident farm, and we're gonna we're gonna use that trident farm, and we are going to use it to tremendous effect. But in the meantime, we just need to go to spawn, dump everything we have, and then make like a see. Okay, let's make an equitable split. Okay, let's let's basically head to spawn, and then whatever I deserve to have, I will take. Or actually, I might just I might just divide everything based on how many players there are. And uh, yeah, how many people have played? I guess. So it would probably be me. Uh, it would probably be me, Matt, Skep, Yua, Sam, Cancer, Elfie, Caleb. Okay, there's there's quite a few. There's quite a bit of splitting that needs to be done. A little... 
a little bit of split in, a little bit of split in, if you will. And yeah, yeah, that'll be oh, wow. Deep ravine, uh, no, no way to jump across. Gotta be careful with those. I live, I live, I live near one of those now. Uh, God, that ravine is gonna be a real pain in my ass to drain. But I mean, it's it's you 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 pay prices, you pay a premium for having like a beautiful beautiful place to live. You know, we do that in real life. It's called it's called expensive property. So yeah. Okay, there's a this is a high mountain, but it's not. Hello, brother. How are you? Want to join your anarchy server? I'm afraid not. I don't like. I, uh, I, I'm not, not a huge fan of Anarchy servers. Still, thanks for the invite. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's keep, uh, let's keep going up. Hmm, actually, I think, I think joining an Anarchy server would be fun. I think, I think a really funny gimmick that I don't know if a lot of people would do is I joined the Anarchy server just to be, like, incredibly nice to people. Like the like the kindness I show is caustic and grating. It's like I will I will show up, and I'll be so nice to you that you are gonna wonder if I'm some kind of psychopathic serial killer. You know if I'm if I'm gonna like if I'm gonna like hunt down your real IP address and like pull your face off, like peel your face off like a like a like a fucking I don't know, and wear it like a skin costume. But I think I think a counterpoint is I think it's I think it's just fun to be nice to people who haven't been who haven't like seen a lot of other people be nice to them. I think that's I think that's like one I think it's comedic gold. Uh, two I think it's I think it's like long overdue like something a lot of people deserve. Like kindness is is something a lot of people deserve but do not receive. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, I stole I stole Sam's op. I uh, I I deviously licked, I deviously licked Sam's op powers. And uh, yeah, that was that was a while ago. So let me just oh actually you know while I'm here let me just deop, skip. Uh, I will I'll op him before I leave. It's just it's just gonna be funny as to see him come on and be like, hey, where's my op? At which point I'm gonna ask, what were you doing with op powers? What were you doing on the server on a survival server that needed op powers? Just just a little little handy bit of trolling. Anyways, I have I have 32 levels, and this is the community fortune pickaxe, so I should not be using it. What I should instead be using is this. Uh, okay, so let me just dump this thing. Let me just uh You know what that is actually a good enough pickaxe for me. <laughs> I need nothing else. So, let's very quickly make ourselves a bunch of chests. And let's, uh. Okay, and then, okay, so me, Sam, Skep, Elfie, Cancer, Matt, you are, Dr. Quantum. Was there anyone else who's played? I don't know if there's anyone who's... Oh, wait, John! Yeah, okay. So let me also make a bunch of jungle signs. That was that was more jungle signs than I needed. But I'm going to just... Uh, going to just leave these chests here. And I'm going to do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm going to go dock... Q. Oh wait, there's also Nick. Uh, Nick. There's um. Skep. Farway. There's Tim. There's. Actually, you know what? I might just do Scylla as a single party. Okay. Uh, there's are these are these it should be an equitable split right who who have I not included I know Matthew was on uh I think I think those might be all the people who are online so everything will need to be split six ways and yeah okay so let me just quickly take this all now first first thing we'll split up is the gold 
Actually, wait, no. First thing we should split is... Ooh. Okay, let's do let's do the copper. Okay, so if I split this by six... I don't even have the inventory space... I don't even have the inventory space... Oh, wait, actually. Hold on. Let me, uh... Let me just do... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. There is no more copper. Six. There's two more copper. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. There's four more copper. Okay, so the copper will split evenly. And then I can put like 15... 15 in Nick's chest. I can put... Wait, hold on. Am I doing am I doing a factional split or am I doing an individual split? Because Far Farway has two people, Scylla has two people. I think it would be fair if you know what, yeah, I think it'd be fair if we did a factional split. So Scylla. Uh and then we'll put 15 in Skeps and 15 in mine. It seems like a fair egalitarian method of splitting. So Okay, so let's just, uh, let's take all of these, and let's give Nick 10 copper, Skep 10 copper, Farway 10, me 10, and wait, did, did I? Okay, Scylla's copper is here. Okay. So this is basically, we're, we're basically doing communism, we're doing spawn, spawn town communism, wait a second. You know what? There's there's six six raw copper and six factions. So let's 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 also do the raw copper. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one raw copper, raw copper, raw copper, raw copper, raw copper. You ever say a word so much it starts to lose all meaning to you? Yeah, that's that's this right now. There's also one raw iron that I. Do not foresee anyone using nether quartz. Is, you know what nether quartz? I picked up most of it, but I, let's let's just let's just let's just do an even split. Okay, it's semi precious, so let's let's share the quartz. You know, share the love. Oh wait, coal should also be split. So let's see how does how does this much how does this amount of quartz split across four people? How does it split across four? Is what I'd like to know. Uh, a six, sorry. Then we'll do one, two, three, four. I'll do one, two, and then we'll do this, 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 and okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So these are the unsplit resources. Each person gets each person gets thirteen. Hold on. There we go. I want everyone's chest to look identical. Just like minor peeve of mine. Okay, Tim's, Scylla's, and let's also split the emerald six ways. So, bam, and then bam, and then there's no there's no uh, there's no adequate split for that. But let's just throw the emeralds into each of their chests uh, because you know if if spawn spawn is everyone's. Well, I mean it's technically mine. Well, it's technically going to be destroyed, so it's technically nobody's. But by a similar token, I feel like I feel like an an even split of the resources we have gathered so far is the best thing we could do. But yeah, so uh, twenty five lapis for Doc, twenty five for Nick, twenty five for Skep, twenty five for Farway, twenty five for me. 25 for Scylla. I don't know if there are any other factions that are moving at the moment. There's, um... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Anyways, Redstone. This is gonna be a difficult one to split, so... This, and then this, this, this. So each of us has 13. Put the remaining Redstone in there. And this split is gonna get really difficult when it comes to, like, splitting iron in an equitable manner. Because that is basically gonna be... A case of, you know, it is I, the iron and gold are definitely going to come down to the nuggets. So yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, that is established. That let's split this equitably. Put the remaining four here. Split this equitably. And you know what? Actually, the coal is going to split evenly. 
The call is going to split evenly to 43 a person. 43 a head, if you will. So, bam. 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 Oh, let's, okay, let's... Let's make this a little easier on ourselves, okay? Let's, let's do that first. So each person gets eight iron blocks. Bam. 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 And bam. And then, let's... If this is not an even split, which it is not going to be, I'll have to do that. And then we'll see if 47, 47 also does not split evenly, which means we need to do this. And then these five are the remainder. So... We're going to do this, 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 this. How many times have I said this? This, 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 and then the gold is also not going to split evenly, which means we'll split it like this, and then we'll split it like this, and then the three will be split somehow. So each person gets about 20 gold nuggies. That's a... Uh, I feel like we should make raw gold our currency, our trade currency, you know, like raw gold, like money, we'll call it like shekels. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot, not a lot left to split resource wise, the rest of this is <coughs> basically just garbage. Although it would be, it would be useful to, you know, separate this into some other, into other groupings. So, next things, next things next. I definitely made this flint steel. I made it with the express purpose of burning Skep alive. Long story. Long, lot of context. Uh, not, not a lot of it is good or politically correct, and some of it evokes imagery of what the Ku Klux Klan did, which I would not have done if I had known, if I, if I had, like, like arrived at the realization earlier. And let's go, let's go... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, how, do, how, do, how do I explain the fact that I burn someone on a, cross, on a cross accidentally? To be fair, I am from Singapore. We don't really have a clan member problem here. There's, there's, I don't think there's... I don't think there's a single active member of the KKK in Singapore. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about many things, but I don't think we have one. Mm. But yeah, that would, that would be like a weird YouTube video. Like one day I just interview a member of the clan, and I'm like, so, uh, Singapore's full of Asian people, why here? And he's just like, well, you know, 17% cax tap, I almost said cax tap, I was gonna say, ca did I, did I say cax tap? Okay, it's, it's a 17% tax cap, a tax cap is the word I was looking to say, not cax tap, tax cap, I, I'm still gonna end up saying cax tap eventually, it's 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 basically a it's basically a given. Also, I should bring the fortune pick down here and get all of the ceiling shit. Uh, and I should also try and remember where I left all the obsidian. Uh, I remember? Oh wait, oh god, how did I not even see that guy? Okay, I remember seeing. No, that is organic lava. Actually, is there lava in this cave? None aside from that one, I believe. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, anyways. Uh, should have also brought a water bucket in case I find a lava pool, but not like a... Not like a... Ooh, is that a... Ooh, mineshaft! This is an abandoned mineshaft. This is this is an abandoned mineshaft. Holy shit. I wonder if anyone's raided this yet. They probably have since it's like, you know, right connected to... Right connected to spawn. But... At the same time, this could be a good source of the shit I don't have, like name tags, uh, bitches, um, uh, are there any seeds we don't have? I don't think so, but string, until I build a mob farm, string is gonna be actually kind of useful. I should probably pick up more of it. I could, I can use this string to make an instant mob farm, which is, of like, a super fast building mob farm, and it's, a uh, yeah. It'll be a good alternative until I'm later in the game when I have, uh, oh hey geodes as well. Holy cow, man! I'm I'm really lucky today. So I can get some amethyst. Oh wait, does it not? Does does it not mine if it's not full grown geode? I uh, I was I was unaware of that. Anyways, yeah, let me just uh mark the quads of that and. 
Hey, there we go. Okay, so this chest is going to be my first check to see if there's any loot left. If there is... Oh, you know what? There, there actually is. Hold on. Just take these, name tags, uh, beetroot, why not? Uh, leave the rails. It's not going to... They don't really mean anything. We have the ability to manufacture all the things we need to make more of them. But yeah, let's, let's, uh... Jesus, imagine falling down there. That would not be fun. Uh, ooh, blocked by a cave-in, I assume. There we go. Properly lit up. Okay, and I think we've hit most of the mine shaft's ends, but with the string I have, I could make myself a decent amount of scaffolding, which would help me make a instant mob farm, which would, I guess, be pretty good resource investment. You know, pretty good, pretty good resource investment for me. Anyways, yeah, I'll just I'll just grab this. Oh my fucking god, I just I just spilled milk tea all over myself. Holy shit. I just I bumped it over my phone, I bumped it over everything I own, I bumped it over a bunch of shit. There's sticky brown milk tea on my shirt, there's sticky brown milk tea on my Why do I drink like this during streams? Uh you know what, I think I'm going to need to end the stream here, after a milk tea based emergency has occurred. Yeah, uh, stream, I love you, thank you so much for putting up with this, but uh, yeah, I need to... I need to take 30, 40 minutes and clean myself up. Stream, thank you, I will see you later, and goodbye!